him. Tell him. Tell we him. coming. <laughs> if you ain't heard, <laughs> we coming. Hey man, y'all supposed to hang out the Lambo truck, man. We gotta hang out. Uh, I'm originally from South Georgia, a small town called Bainbridge. I'm the defensive ends coach here. I'm extremely thankful and blessed to be here. Um, we all kind of got a unique story with Coach Pryor. Mine's pretty cool. I met him back in 2017. I was recruiting Shador and Shallow. <clears throat> I was at the University of Georgia. And he told me then, I was dropping him off at the hotel. And uh, he came down and he thanked me for taking care of him. And he told me he was going to hire me one day. Back in 2017, he ended up doing it. So I think that's really unique. And it says a lot about him. Um, I was at the University of Georgia for five seasons. Transitioned to Texas A&M. I was there for the last two seasons. I chose to leave off of two things. One, we have a unique opportunity and situation here to do something great. And for me, being from South Georgia, this opportunity for me only comes once in a lifetime. So it wasn't about the money, it wasn't about anything, but hey, I get a chance to work for one of the best, probably the best football player of all time. You know, I couldn't turn it in that. You feel me? So thank you guys for coming. I'm, I'm extremely passionate. I'm thankful, I'm humble, but I got a lot of energy. All right, I think you guys will feel that. All right, thank y'all. Yes, sir. Third down, ain't no telling where you gonna be, little bro. Now, let's just talk four down. Just so we can get a better understanding. You saw what you saw what my board was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's just drop a four down. Alright. I see you here. Big end to the field. Feels right. And buck. Okay? This guy's in a two point because he gives us coverage responsibilities. We may ask him to cover, you know, tight ends, running backs out of the backfield. All right, you can do that. We'll ask you to have a seam flat. Hey, all right, now I'm, I'm, I'm introducing this habit tape to the defensive coaches because everywhere I've been, it's important to get these, these guys to thinking what's important and that's getting the ball out. Havoc means the percentages of times we create a sack, TFL, forced fumble, PBU, or interception. So, in other words, if we can get the court, get the ball back to our offense two or more times, the percentages of us winning go up by like 95%. That's what it's about. The ball, the ball, the ball. Taking violent shots on the ball, whether you're punching it out, ripping it out, whether you put your hat on the ball, uh, sacking the quarterback, TFLs, PBUs, interceptions, havoc, havoc, havoc. And that's what we're gonna demand out of our defensive guys. We do we, we want 20% havoc in a game. And if we get that, the chances of us winning are 95%. Yes, sir. The ball, the ball, the ball. You got to get the ball out. <laughs> got to. So right here, I'm gonna show a, a back end guy, a third level guy, safety. Stripping the ball out right here. That's Derwin James, real good at it. Then, I'm gonna show a defensive end. This is Watt, punching the ball. I mean, look at this. Look at how violent he is with punching this ball out with his right hand. Mm. Yeah, he, he, meant, he meant to do that. Bad intentions, yes sir, he mm -hmm. meant to do that. Look at, look at the result of the play. Now, the percentages state, if you score on defense, <laughs> you're gonna win the game. Here's another defensive end, just punching it out. Look at that. Taking shots on the ball, man. Hey, and you gotta practice that. We gotta practice this way. There's no way we can think that we just gonna show up on Saturdays and just get the ball out. We gotta practice taking shots on the ball. Tackles for loss. Those are havoc plays too. Affecting the quarterback. Here's a good play right here. Aaron Donald. Getting penetration, TFL. That, that puts the offense behind in the sticks. It changes the play call. See how here's a freak, look at 98 here. Getting knocked back, making the ball radically change direction. TFL, that's a havoc play now. Now it's second and 11. Check out some more. Interception, we love, we love INTs on defense now. How many times can we get the ball back to our offense? That's our only job. Go three and out and get turnovers. Look at this interception right here. And we, I love showing NFL tape because now you got their undivided attention in the meeting now because mm -hmm. this is where they want to go. That's a hell of an interception there now. And we, we, we want guys that can do that and we got them. 
Especially with Coach Brown. We got DBs that can do that. Look at this play right here now. This is what we call high pointing the ball. It's a great job by that corner. Leaning and locating and going up and catching that at its highest point. He out jumping. High point. That's big. I met at the University of Georgia uh, through Coach Trey Scott. Um, he's actually is kind of his agent. Um, if, you, if you know anything about Pete Jenkins, he's a legend. He created this, <laughs> not only did he create the Pete Jenkins eagle sled that you see a lot of co uh, colleges and D linemen striking, you know, this two-man sled, sled or the six-man sled with the two-man side. How you know it's a Pete <clears throat> Jenkins eagle sled is there's a sternum pad in the middle of it, and then there's an arm hanging off the side. That ensures that you have good hand placement when you're one gap and two gap striking blockers. Um, it was a blessing from day one meeting Pete. I learned his way of, of teaching from block rec to uh, block destruction, and his pass game is, is really remarkable too. Just from his side scissors, his long arm series, I believe in it. And uh, it, it really develops college football players and it gets them ready for the NFL. Um, and if you know all of Pete, get, uh, Pete Jenkins guys, we got jobs. You know, everybody wanna hire a Pete guy. I love him, he's a mentor, he's a legend, you know. Not only do I know a legend that coach and develop D Lyman, I work for a legend, arguably the best player of all time. Tom Brady and Dion. It's who you like better. I like defensive players, so I ain't taking nothing from Tom. He a quarterback, but you know, I play defense. And um, it's really a blessing for me. He told me back in 2017, when I was recruiting Shallow and Shador to Georgia, um, that he was gonna hire me. And it just goes to show you that he remembered me. He didn't have to. He could have went and got anybody in the country he wanted. But uh, he was a man of his word and he remembered me. I actually signed a safety from his high school in Trinity Christian when he was coaching in Texas. And he told me, he was like, hey man, it's the best safety in the country. It's gonna be a first rounder. Lewis Seen went on to go first round with the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, it was because of Coach Prime telling Lewis what was best for him is why we signed him. You know, I, I played a little little part in, in it, but Coach Prime told Lewis, hey man, Penn State or, or Georgia, who puts out more DBs? And, and Lewis listened to Coach Prime because he's the best DB of all time. And Lewis went on to be a first round draft pick. So it's just, it's really a blessing. I wake up every day and I thank God because man, this situation, this opportunity only comes around for a guy like me once in a lifetime. So I'm extremely thankful and I owe him the world and I'm gonna work my ass off for him. Um, I'm extremely grateful and thankful to be here. Um, I believe in doing the next right thing. All right, um, I'm gonna give you all I got and I expect the same in return, all right? I'm a high energy guy. I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. And uh, I think you guys will see that. All right? Love.